still waking up. It's early. It's early. It's early. I missed her tattoo. And today, we got a simple yet very tingly trigger. I hope. I hope it is, it is tingly. We'll see. But um, if you enjoy this, throw a like, comment, subscribe, click the bell. I don't have a drink today. I'm gonna actually go out, run a couple errands after this, and get myself a Jamba Juice. So I I can't have it because uh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, words. I'm still waking up. But um, I have a daily vlog channel linked down below. Like I said, do all the YouTube things. They help me out. And um, the other day I was thinking that um, I don't do enough videos with just like simple, 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 simple triggers. I used to do this more often when I started my channel. I've stopped. So today we are going to do ASMR with a paper towel roll. And I do have a small. <laughs> We're going to do a little bit with this um, naked key lime almond milk smoothie bottle. Also, we'll throw that in every now and again. But mostly, we have this paper towel. on our air conditioner. 
conditioning was hanging out as well. And she's like, if you ever need anybody to do your air or to work on your air conditioning or whatever, which that's super cool because I do have a company I use, but I don't know. I don't trust a lot of, uh, I have trust issues when it comes to stuff like that from being in the restaurant business. A lot of these companies will come out and try to fix your stuff and they'll clearly be scamming you. So I have issues with air conditioning companies. <laughs> but she said this guy's cool, he's honest, and he seemed really nice. I met him while I was there, obviously. I forget his name, but she's like, if you ever need anybody to work on your air conditioning, you let me know. And I'm like, okay. So that was fun.
was, it was really cool. Oh, the penguin. I don't know who played the penguin. Loved that. Loved him. He was cool. He did. Yeah, that was awesome. It's just the movie has so much in it. You almost need to see it more than once to see everything. I loved how it ended. Um, they did leave it open at the end for another one. I hope, I hope they do another one. I do wish they would have made it rated R. I understand why they didn't, but I wish they would have. I recommend you see it. You should see it. If you're at all into any kind of superhero movies, even a little bit, you should watch it. We saw it in Dolby. So that's the theater where um, this the screen is like the darks are extra dark and the lights are extra light. The, uh, the seats are set up in a way to where the audio, there's speakers right behind all the seats, like literally right behind you. When there's big action scenes, your whole seat vibrates. Um, you can feel the movie. You could, I guess you could say. So it was definitely worth seeing it in Dolby. And it was the first time in about two years since before COVID that I've seen a movie in a full theater full of people. I, I think it was like almost sold out. There was only a couple of seats left. We always go to theaters where you buy your seats in advance. So we had a good, we had a good spot. It was awesome. It was amazing. Make sure you either bring food with you or eat right beforehand and go to the bathroom before the movie starts. Because like I said, it's a three hour movie. You're going to be in there for a while and you don't really want to miss anything to like have to get up and go to the bathroom or anything like that.
they get migraines. What gives you migraines? I get them. And um, it sucks. I haven't started getting them until, like, I never got headaches pretty much my whole life up until, like, three years ago. And then I started getting these migraines. I, excuse me, <laughs> sorry. I did go to a doctor to make sure I was okay. Like, I wasn't, like, dying or I didn't have, like, a brain tumor or anything. Uh, she did tell me they were migraines and she told me what to do to prevent them <coughs> from happening. But my issue is sometimes I do all the things to prevent them from happening and they still, I still get them. I, uh, I don't know. I know caffeine can do, can give you migraines. I know the lack of caffeine can give you migraines if you're addicted to caffeine. I know that too much sugar can give you migraines. Not enough sleep. Pretty much a lot of the things that I do can give you migraines. <laughs> but I had a couple the past, not yesterday, but a couple days ago, I had them two days in a row. And on those two days, I did not do anything from my understanding that could have caused them. So you guys let me know. Those of you that get migraines, why do you get them? How do you get them? Maybe I can, I can figure out why I'll randomly just get them sometimes. One of the biggest things I feel is causing um, that plus um, sometimes I just don't have any energy is I haven't been working out in a while. I don't know the last time I ran. I used to run every day. But I haven't. I have not in a while. I need to get back to what I really, really do. Um, I think today I'm going to do a ton of, um, like, push up I don't know. I don't know. I just need to start running again. I've just been really, really lazy lately. Kind of, a, I'm kind of ashamed of myself. <laughs> not kind of. I am. There's no excuse for that. I have plenty of time to work out. And it's just me being lazy.
focus at the door again.
I've said that in like four or five videos. But I really do. Katie got it for me and I feel like she hasn't said anything, but I feel like she's maybe inside her head wondering why I haven't hung it up yet and maybe I don't like it. But I do, it's amazing. And I feel like bad that this cloud isn't hung up in the other room. I need to buy a fishing line, that's why it's not hung up. I keep forgetting. Fishing line and a small little hook to hang it from the ceiling.